And now we're gonna build part two of the Mars robot. So, now we can put this aside for a moment and look at image number five. And we're gonna first make these legs. So we're gonna need two long rods and two short rods. And first we're going to stick the long rods just right into the short rods like this. You might find that these aren't super stable and if they're not you can always tape them together. And then we're gonna need two shaft pins. You want to make sure that it's on the side where the hole is closest to the top instead of this side. So on this side, on the fourth hole, that's where the shaft pin is going to come in, like this. And on the other one, same story, on the fourth hole, we're going to add a shaft pin. And then we're going to need two long axles and we're going to put them in the short rod three holes in. So we're going to leave one hole in between the long rod and the axle. And then we're going to need two small threads and we'll put one on one axle and then we'll do the same on the other leg for the other axle. So now we're going to put these aside for a moment and look at what else is going on in image number five. So we're going to first add two medium sized axles. With the axle stop on the right side, I'm going to add a small green sprocket. And then with the axle stop on the left side, I'm going to connect it. These two axles are now connected into one long axle and these two sides are free. In this image, there are two other yellow gears in here, but I'm only going to use the green small sprocket. So actually I'm going to take one of the medium sprockets off. I'm going to put this in the last hole here. So there's one side. I'm going to add the other medium axle and then I'm going to stick these two together with the green sprocket. So on these are going to go two short rods and they're going to go in the third hole down. So there should be two holes on top that are empty. Then we're going to need two washers and two axle stops. So we're going to put both of these in the third hole on each side. On each side we're going to add washers and on each side we're going to add axle stops. So now that we have those, we can add the motor. You want to have this part of the motor facing you if the Mars robot is facing this way and you're going to leave three holes empty one two three and then add the motor in the fourth hole the motor has these pieces on the bottom so you can fit it right in here it's gonna feel a little lopsided then you're gonna add one large sprocket wheel on this side and one small sprocket wheel right here. You want these two sprockets lined up because you're going to have to put a chain around them. Okay, so now we can add the legs on that we made and this part of these shaft pins fit right into these holes in the middle gears. So there's these little holes. You can see it right here and that's where these shaft pins are going to fit in and they should feel pretty snug. And we're going to need to add two joint pins to attach these back legs to these short rods. So we're going to stick a joint pin in the second to last hole right here and then stick another joint pin here and once again stick it in the last hole right here. You also want to make sure that when one 
of the shaft pins is up, the other one is down. So if that's not the case, you're going to want to take off the leg and you can leave one of the medium gears on and then put the other one on to, and make sure that, so this is on the top right now, so the other one that I put on, I want to make sure that the hole where the crankshaft will go in is as close to the bottom as possible. So now I have, yeah, I have one shaft pin on the bottom and the other shaft pin on the top. So now I can put this back in the long rod and it should go in so one, two, three, it should go right below that, but on the other side. So one, two, three, four, right here. I'm gonna stick this right into here and stick this right into here. So one leg should be up while the other leg is down. Okay, so let's see what this Mars robot can do. If the legs aren't moving, it's because two gears that should be meshing are not. Okay, so let's see what this guy can do. Okay, let's once again see what the Mars robot can do. I, okay, so if it's not working, don't worry. It takes a lot of fidgeting. So you just want to make sure that neither of the sides of these axles are sticking out because they'll get in the way from the long rod being able to move around. So you want, you don't want anything sticking out here and you don't want any of the axles sticking out here. You might have to also move the, the shaft pin to another hole because you also don't want the legs running into this front axle. You also want to keep the chains a little bit loose. So if they're too taut, that also might be a reason it might not work. You can also try with these in the front or have them in the back and just see if that makes any difference. I'm gonna actually fold it a little bit so you can see the workings of the legs. You can see how the legs work. And you can see how the rods aren't hitting the front axle and everything is moving smoothly. So the only reason it wouldn't work is, is if it gets off balance. And that's just something you kind of have to play with. There we go. 